This is just some water that I was using for the top. So it's like bleach and I think I put dishwashing liquid in here. And this is just a regular wrap, basic wrap. So I usually use water from the tap, but sometimes I like to use the soap water because the soap helps loosen up the dirt way more or far easier than just plain water. So ensure you pick it up like literally, ensure you pick it up literally like this. And then you just squeeze real hard squeeze real hard I know it's messy <laughs> but you, it's just water you can always dry it up don't worry about it if you have like a carpet or a special flooring that can't get wet beneath your uh, well on your flooring for your flooring I would suggest you just try and put like a container to catch the water or you could try and put some plastic or something but trust me this works so this is like the lids the covers that cover the screws and there's a lot of build up there and I do the same thing I just squeeze it real hard I rubbed off the excess um, build up that was on the top of these trust me guys this works like a charm it makes it squeaky clean trust me I just go in and I basically just dry it up. I like to go in with uh, clear water to get rid of the suds and I'm going to do that right now. Just water only, solely. So as you can see, the clear water gets rid of the suds so that when you wipe it off, suds won't get stuck in between the creases. This is how we're looking thus far. As you can see, we still have some build up in the corner there. And this doesn't look as badly as how it looked before. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So far, this is what we're working with. I usually don't use this, but it got built up pretty bad this time. So I'll just use a Q-tip to just remove that crease that's there. And this side looks pretty good. I'll just go in on the back side here and See if the Q-tip could get in between there. Yep, this built up is actually Ajax. I'm always throwing Ajax on the toilet to clean it, but I don't always lift up these lids, so I need to get it out. It, it doesn't look good at all, so I'm just going to get it right out. On this Q-tip, I took off a lot of the cotton because with the cotton it was too thick to get in between the creases so now I'll just go in and take out whatever is there with the q-tip so this is what we're working with now this looks way better than what was there before and the same goes for here <laughs> 